me when I called the restaurant to make reservations. I did. I did. She's right, Ruth. I don't remember who called him. Remember? We was all in the living room. You was practicing piano. Frankie was, you know, fiddling with his Lincoln logs. I was playing connection with the old man. See, I remember because I never looked up when I played with the old man. He cheated real bad. And we all heard Lena talking to Wong Su's and tell him what time and all. What? What are you trying to say, Joe? You think it would be one of us? No, but... Oh, jeez. What? The old man heard it too. You suppose, well... You think maybe he... Maybe he think it himself? Oh, I'm getting a headache. What I'm still wondering... It's whether or not John Wilkes Booth was working alone. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, if they talk about this conspiracy as in a merit. And I am still wondering if General Sherman didn't get just the tiniest kick out of lighting them fires. And more to the point, little lady, where on earth is your sister? Now what is he talking about? He starts the battle right before he slips out of it. Now look, Colonel, Lena doesn't have a sister, and Booth and Sherman were both... Colonel, Colonel. She doesn't have a big of a sister? Apparently not. Well, all right, then and up, maybe. But I saw, and I saw General Grant, and they were together and, and kissing <gasps> and touching and doing all of these unspeakable things. My word, it was out of the order. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on there. You saw Lena kissing General Grant? Jeez, Lena, you get around. I'll say. He's getting worse. And I'm going to see to it that he gets locked up before he hurts someone. Hey, he ain't gonna hurt no one. You promised, Lena. The old man promised. You said if Frankie passed that shrink test, <coughs> that no one would ever mention locking him up again. So Frankie talked to the doctor, okay? That was the deal. That was the deal, Lena. We drove Frankie to that doctor in Maryland. He spoke to that doctor. You and the old man both promised that okay, he'd be passed. Okay, okay. If the report comes back and says he's not a complete goofball, I don't care what you do with him. As long as he puts following me around and watching me all the time. Me the crease. And that's or not, he's not getting any of the money. What money? He knows money. Well, you mean the money he was holding for us? You mean our money? The money me, Frankie, and Joey have been making for the past 15 years? That ain't Vito's money, Lena. You get that out of your head right now. Huh. That belongs to us. Well, I beg to differ, but I am his widow, and all of his lawful possessions belong to me now. <laughs> you who, sir? Oh, sir, please stop. We have a few room going on here, and obviously you're in the wrong place. <laughs> Madam, I am obviously in the right place. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, my dear girl. I hardly think the proceeds from uh, con games, gambling, a nice club, and oh, illegal liquor would fall into the category of lawful possessions. <laughs> oh, no, not the funny guy. Hey, it's Lord Franklin of Dudley Crouch. He's my favorite. <laughs> What's this chicken still doing here? <laughs> he had to get the cluck out of here. <laughs> Let me dust your chip off for you. How can I watch him? Uh, so, your lordship, how goes the royalty scam? Swimmingly, old chum, swimmingly. <laughs> I must say, we are getting into it with a good lady Lena, aren't we? The Colonel all but accused her of setting her husband up for murder. Not nice one. <laughs> yeah, now she's talking about our money. You know, all them shillings and sixpence and pounds and stuff. All the dough you made playing cricket and polo. Well, anyway, Lady Lena is talking like it's hers. No. Yes, that's exactly what she's saying. Hard cheese, sticky wicket. She seems to forget one thing. And what is that, pray tell? There are three of us and one of you. Yeah, whatever she said. Is that so, Miss Smarty Pants? Just how do you plan on getting the loot? Do you know where Vito kept it? Well, 
No, I don't know exactly. Joe? I, I, I don't want nothing. I'm afraid I can't help you out, old chum. <laughs> You're like such silly pudding. <laughs> we'll just have to use a little persuasion on old stepmother here. All right, all right. Hold it right there. Don't you move. FBI. Oh, jeez, the feds. Hey, look, I don't know nothing about no prime Canadian whiskey, okay? You're crashing a funeral? I say that is a bit much. How did you get in here? What kind of security do we have in this place? Well, my name's Farmer. Agent Farmer. And the Bureau has ways, ma'am. The Bureau has ways. Can't just come crashing in here. In case you know it, if I haven't noticed, we got a funeral going on here. So you could take your little badge and your flat feet and get out of my club. Uh, he ain't got flat feet, Rue. It's the coppers that got flat feet. Sorry, she gets those who screw up all the time. Shut Ow! Up, Joe. <laughs> bad. Joey! Joey the Lump Marcetti? Bootlegger? We've come close to nailing you there a few times, Lump. Oh, yeah? But you haven't. You want to know why? I'll bite. Because I'm too smart for you. That's why. That's a scary thought, Lump. Scary thought. <laughs> so, old man, so what do we owe you? Pleasure. And then you can just. Talk love. <laughs> What's the girl? I never remember the whole name. Lord Franklin of Weenie World or something like that. I just call him the Limey Guy. The Bureau knows him as somebody else. Ooh, the Bureau. I'm getting chills. What do you say? Yeah, there's a file an inch thick on you there, Frankie Marbles Marzetti. You used to be quite the con artist, though you've been pretty much out of work here lately. Pretty much out of his mind, you mean. Lady Lena, it was dark, but it was you. Of course, I was far away with Sir Francis Bacon. So you looked a lot like Lily Lane Tree. I see it now, I see it. He's starting in on me again. Who's Lily Bacon? Is that a slam? With a girlfriend, eh, your ladyship? Healthy looking female from where I stood. <laughs> Frankie, not only do I believe that you are not playing with a full deck, I also believe your porch light is out. <laughs> your suitcase ain't quite packed, and the elevator does not go up to the top floor. The bus doesn't make a stop downtown. Just stop it, Lena. He's a little confused right now. Lord Franklin, are you there? Lord Franklin. Oh, hi, oh, I told you all. I'm still there. Oh, what's that? I really hate the limey guy. Look, Fed, this happens to be my club. You mean your saloon? Your speakeasy? Coffee house? Listen, just because you don't have a record doesn't mean that you're not about suspicion. Suspicion of what? Yeah, suspicion of what? What like organized crime? A violation of the Volstead Act? Gambling? Theft? How about larceny? Murder. Murder? Hey, look! Marzetti's don't do murder. The old man had one rule, and it was no rubbing out. Leave that to the other gangs, like the Romanos, the Campolinis, Butch Feltz's mom. They slice up their own grandmother for her dentures and never bat an eye. But no offense to you guys. But that's what set us apart. We are a strictly non-violent mob. What? Okay, so there had to be some strong arm in ridiculous circumstances. Oh, okay, so there had to be a few exceptions. Hey, sometimes they don't get the point until the cement starts to harden. <laughs> ow! 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 That's my ear ring. Ow! 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 ow. I'm a victim of don't say another word. Another word. Shut up, Joe. Look, Fred, you're barking up the wrong family. Instead of coming in here crashing fam funerals. Should be out there finding the punk who murdered our father. Yeah. Why doesn't the stinking FBI find the kill who killed our old man? But no. You can't. It's easier to be crashing into funerals. Well, out there right now is a Scotsman who murdered our our pops. There, there, no. Shoot up, shoot up, stiff up, that sort of thing. Yeah, Mister. Louis right. Get the hell out of here and go find McDonald. I'd be happy to. 
I could get a more complete description. Oh, but your stepmother here didn't get a good look at. Oh, but Mr. Farmer, Mr. Farmer, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Farmer, but those bagpipes was real big. Besides, <laughs> nobody at the restaurant speaks a word of English. I mean, half of them are probably illegals anyway. So if, even if I did get a translator, they wouldn't say anything. So you see, Fingers. Hey, don't call me that. That was a long time ago. Ruby will do. Okay, Ruby will do. Oh, I do care about your father's murder, and I won't stop until I find Angus MacDonald. But in the meantime, I had to come down here and talk to each of you, and you Marzettis have been a thorn in the side of the FBI for 15 years. No shit. Huh. I mean, you've even become a cause for some of us down at the Bureau. You're involved in every illegal operation in this town, and so far, nobody's been able to touch you. Well, the law, that is. Angus MacDonald touched us. <laughs> and I tried to hand it to him. He found a way to reach out and touch the Marzettis and just make it hurt. <laughs> well, personally, I wouldn't have given it all up for the woman I loved. Oh, <laughs> Bobby <Bobby> God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you talking about, Frankie? Uh, Frankie. Uh, don't, don't, don't know, don't know, uh, Frankie. No, I lean low. Kiss, kiss. When a lady loves a lassie, coming through the right. What is wrong with him now? Oh, nothing. Well, Frankie's just about to do a presto jingo, that's all. You know, Frankie, I can't wait to read that trade doctor's report on you. Uh, doctor, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see a, a doctor. Probably the shortest report in medical history. This guy is a loony bird. A nutcase. A crazy. Signed, the wacko doctor. Uh, 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 hey, doctor. <laughs> did, did not go. Go, go, go on and go. I, I want to stay with Ruby. It's okay, Frankie. It's okay. Remember? You went to the doctor. You met the doctor. You even introduced him to Francois. Remember? You liked him. The doctor liked him Francois, too. Oh, geez, not Francois. <laughs> Who is he now? He's Francois Francois. The French mime. Come on. Oh. Yeah, and I gotta admit, I really hate Francois. I second that. And I really hate all of them. So did Vito. That's why I decided not to leave him any of the dough. Not too much to spend it on in the rubber rotunda. So, who gave you the right to pass out our money? Your money, is it? Well, I beg to differ, but I'm just doing as Vito wish, and all of his money belongs to me now. You? But you do nothing but sit on your ass. Yeah? So what? Besides, he didn't want Frankie to have it on account he'd probably <laughs> give it away or spend it on beauty stuff. And he didn't want Ruby to have it because she got caught by the cops once. That was 15 years ago. I was 20, I mean, 17 years old. Yeah, but Mozzetti's don't get caught, remember? <laughs> so, Frankie doesn't get anything because you convinced the old man he was crazy. I don't get anything because you kept reminding me of the one time I was a less than perfect criminal. What about Joey? He's not a brain trust. Hey! But he hasn't been certified. And he hasn't had any trouble with the law. Hey! He just hasn't been caught. Yet. So, Lena, are you going to share your inheritance with Joey? Huh, of course not. Why am I not surprised? I'm only doing as Vito wished, and I'm afraid he disinherited Joey as well. He did? Jeez. <laughs> Wait, why? Because you can make him pass the <gasps> And Vito said he wasn't giving any money to anybody that wanted to box his wife. Joey! I never touched her! I never <laughs> wanted to touch her. Well, that would have been like the... Bugs. Bugs? Yeah, you know. Incest. <laughs> Joey, you mean incest. The stupid guess, but incest, no. Whatever. All I know is I never touched her. You know I never did nothing. Yeah, I know it, Joe. Matter of fact, here's a couple of times I wouldn't have minded. But the fact is, I told Vito you had, and that was enough. 
so you are all out of it. You can't do this to us! Uh, what? Don't cross a Marzetti, Nina. Marzettis stick together. Marzettis take care of their own. A Marzetti angered is... 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 an angry Marzetti! You're forgetting one thing, Joe. What? That I'm a... Marzetti! Tramp, where's our money? This is no fair! Come on, Lena, don't be such a Zopala. Don't call me that. I was going to share it with you because I could use some help, and I figured if you gave me a hand, I'd cut you in. And then, if you're real nice, I may even let you go to work. For me. Help? What kind of help? Oh, you know how Vito loved playing games. Yeah, you know, he said it was to teach us about taking turns. Hey, Bru, remember when he had us do that scavenger hunt? Yeah, what a fun guy. Man, he had us searching for five hours. After that, I learned not to take my pants off at night. Anyway, he's got another game planned. To find the dough. You mean, you don't actually have it? Well, no. He hid it in a bus station. In a locker. And he hit the key. <laughs> Pito, Pito, Pito. You have to love the guy. So anyway, since you guys are used to figuring out his stupid games, I figured if, I, if you gave me a hand, I'd catch you in. 10% for each of you two. And 80 for me. <laughs> You're all right, Lena. <laughs> what a kidder. <laughs> Look at her face, Joe. She ain't kidding. 30 each for me, Frankie, and Joey. 10 for you. Huh. I don't care if you give Marblehead here part of your share, but I'm not giving him nothing. Better watch your step, Lena. Not to mention your back. <laughs> what, a threat? Huh. Really, I don't think you're going to do anything. Not with the FBI standing right next to me. So get out of here. <clears throat> what do you mean? This is my place. This is Ruby's place. Did you ever look to see whose name was actually on the deed, Ruby? All I have to do is change the name on the sign. Lena's place. What? Hey, bro, 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 bro. Let me handle this, okay? How about this, Lena? 25 for me, 25 for Ruby, and 25 for Frankie. That leaves... It leaves, um... <laughs> That leaves 40 for you. What could be more fair? <laughs> you heard my terms. Take it or leave it. We're leaving it. When a leader tries to figure out one of her own of Beatles little puzzles on her own. Ah! We're out of here, boys. <laughs> I'm not worried. See, I've got the FBI here to help me. Oh, jeez. You'll help me, won't you, Mr. Farmer? That's such an earthy name. Well, ma'am, I'm not quite sure what the Bureau's regulations are on this matter. But... Oh. Let's not worry about nasty old rules and regulations just now, okay? You help me find the key, and then we can both go sit down together and study the guidebook. Are you going to let her get away with that rule? What do you want me to do, Joe? Shoot her? Come on, boys. Come on, Frankie. Oh, I forgot. Listen, you're dealing with the FBI here. 
You know, a simple examination of those guns are going to show which one was fired last. That's so? so. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, 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 stop it! Stop! Give me the guns! Give me the guns! Now! Get it to me! Get it! Give me the guns! Mary Ann! Mary Ann! Oh, who's spelling my name? Come here! Can't you tell I'm busy? Do me a favor, please. What? Would you go lock these up for me? You got them? It's still my one. I know, I know. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever gave you the idea to be messing with the FBI? Look, buddy, we ain't messing with the FBI. We were messing with Lena. That fraud was trouble. What a capital D. We could have a double funeral. What do you say, boys? There's no way she's gonna fit. There's no way she's gonna fit in the coffin with the old man. We had to sit on it to get it shot in the first place. Ruby, Ruby, listen. You're not going to get away with this. This is murder. She, she's giving me the creeps. Can we take a walk or something? Yeah, Joe, give me a hand. Well, we'll stop at a chunk and dump it in, uh, I don't know, Cleveland. Oh, oh, that's a good idea, Frankie. Things like this happen all the time in Cleveland. <laughs> Ruby. Yes. Ruby. You're not going to get away with this. What's wrong with your brother? Who is he now? Frankie, he might just be a visit. I don't know for how long. Oh, you see? It was him all along. All right. She's stashed. What's next? Yeah. Well, um, let's see. Uh, I guess I, uh, I have to take you all in, okay? Give me your arms. Um, Would you not hate to do that, Paul? I mean, you take us in without the dough, it's like, it's like you didn't really crack the Mazzetti mop. You'll just have one corpse and uh, three suspects. Okay. You got a better idea, Frankie? Well, you know, it's just that if I were you, I think I want to walk in with something substantial. Like dough. Like a locker full of cash. The Marzetti stash. Minus a few thousand. All right. What's the scam, Marbles? Let us look for the key to that bus lock. Me, Ruben, Joe. Let's just say uh, we know what made the old man tick. So you will let us look for the key, and we'll recover the dough. And you, my good friend, will keep just enough to let us start over. And the rest? Well, hey, Father, that would be evidence. I don't really uh, know what happens to our evidence. What about you, Ruben? I heard, I heard that it gets lost. Sometimes it gets so lost, then nobody ever finds it. Jeez, is that so rude? I never heard of the FBI losing evidence. Shut up, Joey. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Marzetti. Mrs. Oh, Marzetti, no. certified mail, Mrs. Marzetti. Listen, I'll, I'll take that, please. You're not Mrs. Marzetti. Yes, I know. I, I'm the FBI. Listen, uh, she's dead, okay? Oh, All right. Oh, listen, while you're here, do me a favor. Take this, go in there, and just like Ms. make a bunch of copies. Miss Ruby? Me. It's okay, Miss Marianne. Hey, uh, so Fama, tell me, you gonna play along? I don't know, Frankie. Um, why don't we just let everybody out here play Vito's little game and, you know, hunt for the key and all, but, uh, in the meantime, I think you and I need to be having a little bit of a chat. What? What is that? Well, what you got there? What's well, a psychiatrist report. Well, actually, it's just a preliminary report. The, uh, final results won't be in for a while, but the, uh, the good doctor was concerned enough to send Lena Certified letter. Uh, uh, a doctor. Uh, Frank, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see. Uh, except Frankie's all right, right? Just an overactive imagination. Well, here. Read it for yourself. Quiet, Frankie. It's okay. Dear Mrs. Marzetti, my final report will be will not be completed for several weeks, but felt compelled to send you a most serious warning. While examining your stepson, Frankie, I saw no signs of the alter ego as you described. Additionally, on the surface, he seemed gentle and even simple. However, during hypnosis, he exhibited psychotic, homicidal, and sociopathic tendencies, particularly in reference to you. In other words, Mrs. Marzetti, I feel it is only a matter of time before your stepson, Frankie, will attempt to cause you serious bodily injury. Such is the depth of his hatred and resentment. Please exercise the utmost caution around him. Full report is forthcoming, Dr. Rudy Gephardt. What a load of crap! 
What's this doctor mean by this? Simple. She's a no good, Miss Ravon! Simple! No, darling, she's a no good. He's Franco Franconi, the opera star. You want that shit out of the singer, baby? Oh, jeez! No! Maybe later, okay, Franco? Okay. You just been telling me when I sing you a Cover beautiful song. <laughs> That's the problem with Franco. Thinks he can sing. Yo, uh, what's your name? I got those copy things. Oh, yes. Uh, I'll take them. Oh, actually, you know, I got a better idea. Come up here for me, please. Why? Busy. You can have your wine later, honey. This right here. Would you read this to all of them for me, please? Um, I gotta keep an eye on this bunch. Okay? Yeah. And thank you. Come on, let's go. Right at that. Ah, let's go. Right now, move it. Ah, move it. Let's go. It's like green. Go. Hurt hey, 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 hey. No. Go. Oh. Lord have mercy. Now it's your turn to play the game. Let's find the key to Vito's stash. I'm gonna hand out these envelopes. And you're going to answer all the questions to the best of your ability. All the clues are inside Ruby's place. Nothing is on the stage. When you find the key, don't take it out. Just put it, write it down what it is, okay? Take your time. It's not a race. The Marzetti family will be right back out so that you can interrogate them. That may or may not help, <laughs> as you can tell, yes. When you're finished, return the answers to me so we can figure out who the winner is of our lovely prize. And we will be serving dessert and coffee in the serving room. Good luck. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, yeah. 